I'm Fern Cotton, and in this show, I'll be hanging out with McBusted, one of the most hotly anticipated supergroups of the modern era. Between them, they've sold over 15 million records and written some of each other's biggest hits. Now McFly and Busted minus Charlie have merged into one all-conquering rock behemoth. Together, they're embarking on an enormous 41-date tour. And I've been granted exclusive access to their inner circle. My yeah! weird? That guy is an idiot. You in? You in? Yeah! <laughs> the hornier, the better. <laughs> There'll be difficult questions. Were there disagreements with Charlie? You checked into rehab. How tough was that time for you? What was your lowest point? This is getting dark. Surprise revelations. Something happened that definitely changed me. It affected me in a way that was frightening. Three years ago, I, I really realised that I was struggling. There was never a last gig. One day it was over. And a few tears. I'm not going to leave him because he has a problem. And one of us will go home with a very rock and roll reminder of our special time together. <laughs> this is Fernand McBusted. Busted. It's a complicated story. First, there was Busted. Charlie, Matt and James. Their debut album went triple platinum. They sold over a million copies. And the trio went on to make pop history after selling out a record number of Wembley dates. Yeah! But just as the band were firing on all cylinders, Charlie was gone. I've uh, quit Busted, um, sadly. We always had an understanding between the three of us, that if one of us left, like any one of us left, we would all uh, call it quit. The band were finished. Hi, my name's Tom Fletcher, I'm 16. Meanwhile, a chap called Tom, who'd originally auditioned for Busted, formed a brand new band with Danny, Harry and Dougie. Over the past decade, McFly have scored seven number one singles and two number one albums. But success came at a price for both bands. In the busted camp, Matt's been in and out of rehab. And devastated by his band split, James fled to America to lick his wounds. And the McFly boys have had their own struggles, with both Harry and Dougie battling their respective demons. But then, what started as an impromptu jam between friends... ...snowballed into a massive merging of bands. Tickets for the McBusted tour sold out so quickly they were forced to add even more dates. They're now playing over 40, making them one of the biggest music acts around. I've known both bands from TV and radio for over a decade and they're pretty relaxed in my company, so hopefully I can probe in ways that others can't. I want to find out why McBusted have sent the country into such a frenzy. I'm beginning my journey in a rehearsal space in South London where the world's newest supergroup are gearing up for a mammoth tour. Instead of six, there's just five today as Tom's at home with his four-day-old baby Buzz. Oh. I've not seen them all play together yet, so quite excited about it. Let's see if we get their attention. I've only got a couple of hours with them and then I'm chucked out because they're so busy. Hello? That's probably soundproof, so... Matt just looked at me and blanked me. Did anyone else see that? He looked in my eyes and then, hello, hi. No, it's, it's, it's in all of them. It's not in that one, but when it's not in that one. Hey! Hi, hey. hey. hey, guys. Hi. Good to Fern. see you all. We're just having a debate. About what? God, I'll help. I think, I think you should make a decision. I'll be the decider. Yeah, Go on. Should it be um, 
Option one. Option one. I love a little pause, I love a little, a little moment, and then you're right. waiting, and then it happens. Oh, no. So James isn't helped. happy. <laughs> I think we should fire Fern. Oh, We're wondering if you wanted to... You know, Sing Year 3000 maybe, maybe with us. There's, there's, there's a spare mic there. The, this and a guitar. stinks isn't... of the Saturday show, Circa 97. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is, I've done this before. <laughs> I've been here before. Both of you, you know, your bands were kind of coming on those Saturday morning shows, yeah. and he, here you are doing it again. It's crazy, amazing, yeah. and brilliant. I miss, the, I miss those Saturday shows. I'm sort of reluctant to talk about them because I'm feeling like the producer's going to go, oh, let's put a clip of that in the Please don't do that. <laughs> I'm going on tour with McFly and Buster on their tour bus. We're going to Birmingham, is that right? Yes, sir. We're the NEC. So here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, dear, that's enough of that. Thank you. As I jam with the boys, it's amazing to think this busted track is over 10 years old. Fire, are you ready for the big finish? Fire, are you ready for the big finish? Yeah! I said it already! Yeah! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Who needs Tom anyway? This rock and roll lark's a piece of cake. <laughs> I'm obviously going to be spending a lot of time with you up to the tour, seeing you guys rehearse, but also individually hanging out with you as well. I am worried a bit about it. I think it'll be quite chilled when you're with us, like, individually, I think. But I think potentially together we might. I don't know. Yeah, yeah tour's going to be fun. The, the partying may have uh, calmed down a yeah. little bit, but we, they, we take the health thing to a, a new level oh. of disgustingness. Like, what are we talking? What do you mean? We give each other clonics. No, we don't. No, we don't. <laughs> we don't. We don't. We don't. Kind of. Are you do. sure? Because all of you have gone we really quiet <laughs> over this. Like, what is I was going to say, we saw No, basically, right, Matt is, is like totally into his like nutrition. And Matt was like, oh, you know, I'm going to do this thing. It's called a, a Himalayan saltwater purge. And we're like, oh, yeah, cool. What's that, Matt? And he's like, you know, and he starts lift, listing off the health benefits. And we're all like totally sold. We're like, yeah, okay, cool. Let's do it. Right. We just drink a cup of salt water. No, no, like a pint of warm salt water, and you down it on an empty stomach first thing in the morning. Right. And it is basically like a natural, like, uh, clonic. Yeah. Yeah. Show in the video. Oh, I'm really not sure about this. Ready? Go. <laughs> 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 that was like number 12. Where's the fact that you go? <laughs> <laughs> ready? 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 Oh, <laughs> my God. Could it get any worse? Tattoo roulette, roulette as well. Tattoo okay. roulette as well. Roulette. Have you ever played tattoo roulette before? No. no. I'm so imagining you just... Someone has to have a tattoo. Someone you loses yeah. and you have to do a tattoo yeah. that we yeah. I don't know if that's what I want to do. Coming up, Dougie opens up about the lowest point in his life. You don't even realise how bad it is until you stop and like, oh, man, God. Um, it, got, it got really dark. I'm forced to take part in the band's favourite rock and roll ritual. Last time you played Tattoo Roulette, who was the unlucky one? This is what I ended up getting. Oh, it's big! Yeah, it's big. And I get exclusive backstage access on the McBusted tour. Hey, hey, hey.